And welcome, this is Bella Scuba with Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. This is the original North American Super Nintendo version of the game, also known as Final Fantasy III, but do not let your eyes deceive you. This is Final Fantasy VI. This is one of the pinnacles of the 16-bit era, especially when it comes to RPGs. This is one of my favorite games. As always, it starts with ominous music and thunder in the distance. Well, lightning, at least. You can't really hear it. But it is implied that it is there. Looks like there is something in the distance on fire. Let's go ahead and get the game started. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. A thousand years have passed. Iron, gunpowder, and steam engines have been rediscovered, and high technology reigns. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread, destructive force known as magic. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Knowing that this is a Final Fantasy game, most likely things are not necessarily going that well in, in the world. You will notice a stark contrast to other games in the franchise that we have seen so far. This is definitely more industrial than the others. There's the town! Hard to believe an Esper's been found intact there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. It's an Esper. Think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? I heard she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in under three minutes. Is that what you guys are in? Those Magitek armor? Something like that? Not to worry, the slave crown's on her head. Robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. We'll approach from the east. Move out. So apparently they have this green-haired woman entirely controlled with the slave crown. And now it is time for the slow march. This, honestly, was pretty impressive when this game came out. <laughs> back, in, back in the day. What was it? 1994, I believe it said. Uh, this, was, this was pretty spectacular. I know it probably doesn't look like much now, but back then that did mean a lot. Now, this, like I have said, is one of the pinnacles of 16-bit RPGs and one of my favorite games, Uematsu. You are, you are quite talented, my friend. Uh, I, I do really enjoy this game. I think it actually is better than the rest of the games that we have done th thus far, which is 1 through 5, of course. Uh, but, of course, I will... We'll try to keep my, my opinions to myself until the end when we have fully completed the game. That way I have a, a fresh memory of what the game is actually like. I did do a part zero for this Let's Play when I asked for names. Uh, there are 14 uh, characters that I can name in this game. Uh, as a result of there being so many this time, there are still some slots available. So. If you would still like to be named in uh, the Let's Play, of course, feel free to either leave a comment, you know, if it's relatively shortly after when this video is first uploaded, or uh, send me a private message, see if you can still get in. There are definitely a few names, especially later on in the game. I think the last four uh, that we can get are still available. 
and translator Ted Woolsey, I will be going through very, very carefully through what you have done, Woolsey. Let's put her on point. No sense taking any risks. Forward! No, I will go into the menu instead. And here we see that the green-haired girl's name is... Question mark, question mark, question mark. Now, I'm going to move everybody into the back row for this. And for the record, I will probably be calling this man Biggs throughout this instead of Vix. Uh, this is supposed to be a reference that Woolsey... Speaking of Woolsey, famously, I guess you could say mistranslated. Uh, this is supposed to be a reference to Star Wars, the two pilots that went into the trench with Luke uh, at the end of uh, Star Wars Episode Four. Uh, Biggs and Wedge, that's who these people are supposed to be. Not rather, there we go, equip. Oh, cannot equip do anything with, with Biggs and Wedge. They don't have anything that spectacular on them anyway. I can do something with her, though. She has the mythical knife, buckler, leather hat, leather armor. That is, that is quite interesting. Uh, I think we are ready to just go forward. For the record, it does say that we did zero steps because that long winding sequence does not count, of course. Let's head over to the right here. Machine riding self-important swine, take this! And then he six. You sick your dog on me, man? We're up against Lo Lobo in our Magitek armor. How about how about a fire beam? Now the way that this works, and if I remember right, this is the only time you get to use Magitek in the game. It could be could be late in the game, but I, I, this is pretty special. We get 12 experience points for that and 30 gil. I will be calling it gil, by the way. GP no, gil. Let's just head up. Oh, I can't go that way. Fine. We will go this way, apparently. Imperial Magitek armor, not even Narsh is safe anymore. So this is apparently the town of Narsh, which I don't think they have said. Uh, Magitek is a magical industrial hybrid, I guess you could say. Let's show off. I guess you could do bolt beam. And, uh, Figs and Wedge, they don't have very many attacks, especially compared with... What's her name here? Uh, we'll, we'll just go down the list. Go, Ice Beam! And pretty much anything I cast is going to be instant death. The reason that I have them in the back row is because... In this game, I should say that back row is important, but with this, it is not important. Hey! Big's leveled up. Good for you. Wedge, too. Ooh, 96 skill. Uh, when it comes to the Magitek armor and the abilities that come from it, can I get on that way? No. I want to explore everything and try to get into all the fights. There are, I believe, five fights I can get into here. Nurse's freedom depends on us! Can we get into yet another fight? I will start cutting these out once... Well, honestly, once it starts getting a little tedious, but that does not take... Well, that, that's not for a while. Like I said, these guys are all one-hit kills no matter what I cast. And, well, she's got a few things that can hit multiple enemies, but we'll get to that. 